back to another video uh, for the cloud series. In this video, I'm going to be going over cloud troubleshooting methodologies. Well, where I'll be doing just one exercise, which is going to be examining the troubleshooting model. Now, usually, looks like it's still loading in here. Usually when a when an IT issue arises, of course, a, a troubleshooting methodology can be used as a guide for the best course of action. Think about identifying the problem, establishing a theory, testing the theory, establishing a plan of action, so on and so forth, right? Now, notice that there's no changes as of yet. Now, in a real life scenario, you would need to follow your change management uh, procedures, right? And policies of your organization before you proceed, then you continue to verify full functionality and document, which can be difficult when working out an issue, right? Because the users with the issue may have written down like the problem on their end, but the problem can be totally different than the information that was provided. Now, if a user comes up to you and informs you that the internet is down, or this can be a number of different issues, right? Um, and, and you have to investigate and gather some more information in order to pinpoint exactly what the, what the exact issue is at hand. Uh, but the same can be said for an issue that user reports, right? It may turn out to be a larger issue, like the can print to a network connected printer, X, Y, Z, whatever. So I'm just going to be doing a bit of examining the, the troubleshooting process. And the first thing I'm going to do is resolve a policy conflict in Microsoft Azure. So, <clears throat> so I'm actually going to need to set up the lab environment first, and then I'll create a storage account uh, with the organization's policy. And we may, if I do get any errors, then uh, I just won't be applying the region specified and uh, with my request, and then I'll use the storage account. Uh, that I that I will set up. So for, for this scenario, let's let's make up one where let's say a dream world, right? Uh, let's just say my manager has sent a request, right, for a new storage account resource and the company's uh, Microsoft Azure portal, right? And you know, following the policy, the storage account should have you know, a few things applied, right? The name, region, performance, redundancy, you know, all the things I've, I've set up in multiple videos, advanced network access, recovery, encryption, tags. So on and so forth, right? So, um, so I'm going to be using this particular, you know, scenario to, you know, follow the guidelines and setting everything up. So now that I'm in Azure, going to um, might already be here. Actually, let me click here, storage accounts. I'm going to create a new one here. Okay, I already got my resource group. There we go. Okay. Course. <clears throat> UK South is fine. All right. So let's go next. All right. Uh last API is good. All right. Okay, so we're good there. Everything looks pretty good. Let's go to networking. Mm, let me see. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, let's go to data protection, All right? Okay. It's like the computer is not working. The storage account has been validated and uh, de fully deployed, as we can see here. Had a bit of a snag there with connectivity and the latency. Uh, but that's fine. So now what I'm going to do is troubleshoot a storage account issue. Now, when usually when reviewing an issue, you have to start with identifying the problem first naturally, right? You got a question, any particular, any ch potential changes, investigating the scope, uh, right? Isolating the problem service, you know, establishing a, a theory of probable cause, 
uh, how do you believe it occurred and coming up with every possible scenario, right? And then you have to pare down to the most possible scenario by refining to at least five to 10, right? Normally, now you also have to check to see if the symptoms fit the theory, things of that nature, validate or invalidating the theory and things of that nature. So in, in this scenario, I'm gonna walk through some steps to resolve an issue in Microsoft Azure. All right, the first issue for some reason didn't populate. I was looking for an issue, a policy issue with the way I named uh, PLS storage as far as a policy issue with how I named it, but unfortunately that did not take place. So I'm going to come up with another scenario where I can resolve an issue on Microsoft Azure. Now in this time, the let's say an IT service ticket uh, was logged stating the storage account I created um, here uh, would not allow blob storage. All right, and there seems to be an issue with access keys. So what I'm gonna do now is just click here, right? Let's see, then I'm gonna to go to access keys. All right, then normally it would be under this, um, under this menu, it would be a yellow warning message that's showing and it would state that the authorization key um, with a authorization with the share key uh, is disabled for this particular account. And then it would show, uh, let's see. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Let me take a look somewhere else because it doesn't show that. Um, let's see. Take a look at our containers. All right. Let's see. All right. So we see that the new container flyout window is displayed here, and it should be what's well, normally, at least in a real world scenario, would act would, um, depending on the subscription you have with your account as far as Azure. It would be like a public access level uh, that would. Also be an option as far as the access level with the room. It shows private, that's great out here, but you should also be able to choose public depending on, again, of course, your scenario. And the message below to, to state that the public access is, well, at least in this case, that the private access is uh, disabled on this account, as you can see here. I'm just gonna discard this, actually. It's like everything is good. Kind of hard, kind of making it more difficult for me to find a situation to troubleshoot. So I'm actually going to see if I can actually take a look at the PLS storage page and then see if I'm able to review the blob and key configuration to see if I can find something. But both the blob and the blob public access and the steep storage key access uh, may be shown as. Disable, let me see, just a load here. I guess I don't have to click on all of these. I'm already in it, right? Yep, shows disabled. See the storage access key. Shows enabled, okay. Actually, let me see, because both need to show enabled. Let's go back here. Yeah, that's fine. I'm actually going to take a look at the security to the now in the real life scenario. Um, I had shown. Now, in a real life scenario, before you make it making any changes to your Azure environment, you definitely want to make sure you follow the change management uh, policies and processes. Uh, 
within your company, by the way. But it looks like everything on my subscription is running <laughs> very smooth. So it looks like it's finding making it harder for me to uh, find anything to troubleshoot. So I'm actually going to verify if it has any um, access key issues. So let's see. Wait for it to load here. Okay, let's see. Actually, let me take a look on this side instead. There we go. Let's see here. Yeah, still, still no issues. Um, Let's see, actually create, this time I'm actually going to do one. Okay, there we go. All right, private, which is cool. Let's create. Perfect, so we successfully created that. So now I'm just going to close everything because this brings us to the end. Now, fortunately, I wasn't able to really to find anything to troubleshoot, to troubleshoot in Azure to go through some cloud troubleshooting methodology. Still going to post this because at least we got some more uh, experience dealing with at least looking for any issues, setting up a storage account to uh, see if we can find any issues uh, to make sure that we, you know, try to go through the troubleshooting process or the troubleshooting methodology process properly to make sure that we would be able to troubleshoot properly whenever there's assistance needed to make sure we figure out exactly what's going on. But nonetheless, this is the end of the video where we attempted to examine the troubleshooting uh, methodology for the clouds, particularly Microsoft Azure. Nonetheless, still fun, just not as fun as it could have been had we've been able to successfully troubleshoot something. Uh, but in the meantime, till the next video, stay curious, stay secure.